we are making eggnog today. Eggnog is really simple. For this, all you're gonna need is a whisk, eight egg yolks, four cups of whole milk, two cups of cream, some spices, a little bit of vanilla, and if you want, some booze. We're gonna start by separating eight egg yolks. Next, we're gonna whip our egg yolks until they become a little light in color and a little frothy. Now, you can do this with a hand mixer or in a stand mixer or by hand. We're gonna add in one and a half cups of sugar. There. Next, we have my pumpkin spice syrup that I made a few videos back for some uh, holiday cocktails. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, about an ounce and a half with these pour spouts. Next, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of allspice and an eighth of a teaspoon clove. Using my microplane, we're gonna grate about a half of a nutmeg directly into our eggs. Or about one, one teaspoon if you have brown. Next, fresh cinnamon. I'm gonna go with about a half a stick. Give that a stir. Next, in my large pot here, we have our four cups of whole milk. You want to start this on about a medium heat. You don't want to go above about 180 degrees. I have some vanilla bean extract that my friend made me. We're going to add about an ounce. Now this part takes a while because you don't want to bring your cream and milk mixture up too hot too quickly. You want to bring it up to a simmer real low and slow. The cream mixture is now up to temp. It's about 175 degrees. We're going to take a little bit of our warm cream here and temper it into our eggs. You want to temper your eggs first before putting them into the cream mixture. Otherwise you're going to just get curdle them and you're going to get scrambled eggs floating on top of cream. Right, now that our egg yolks are tempered and warm, we're gonna pour them in slowly, stirring the entire time. Eggnog is essentially a very loose custard, that's all it is. So the more you cook this, the longer you cook it, the thicker it's gonna get. If you want it to be a little looser for more of a cocktail consistency. So you can add more bourbon to it or more rum or more whiskey, whatever you're, you're feeling like. A little Kahlua goes a long way. Then you cook it less. You wanna stir this often. You're just gonna let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you can go upwards of 20 minutes if you want it to be really thick. And our eggnog is done. The perfect thickness. Cooked for about 15 minutes. Now for the best part, we drink it. Start with an ounce and a half of Uncle Nearest bourbon cask finished Caribbean dark rum. Let's add a little froth with my frother. A little nutmeg on top. There you are, your finished eggnog. Mm. That is delicious and awe-inspiring of the holidays. They can serve it hot or cold. I'm serving it warm. Feels better going down. It warms you for the Christmas spirit. I also like mine super boozy, so yeah. Again, you can leave the booze out. If you don't like cinnamon, take the cinnamon out. If you want more nutmeg, put more nutmeg. Cheers. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow. Until next time, shut up and drink.